Look companies, we get it. You want to slap your ugly logo on everything to advertise your company. It's a smart move. It's a way to get more people noticing your company. But if I already know your company exists, I don't care. And now your crappy logo is all over my product, and I don't want it there. I've had an iPhone for a very long time, but that's the only Apple product that I've really had up until this year, when I decided to try out the new M1 MacBook Pro because it looked kind of pretty epic. I figured that if I wanted to edit portably, this was the way to go, and uh, this was the time to try out Mac. And I did. Currently, as I'm editing this video, I'm using that MacBook Pro. Look at me, sitting on a, on a hill, editing. Wow. I also got an iPad that I can connect to the laptop to use it as like a second touchscreen monitor, and then I can use it to animate, and it's really convenient. So I've been enjoying my time. However, I'm not some Apple fanboy, and I vomit at the thought of becoming one. So I covered up my MacBook's logo with a Soul Eater sticker, and covered up my iPad's logo with a Treasure Planet sticker. If you haven't seen Treasure Planet, go watch it. It's an amazing film that a lot of people don't know about because Disney, like most companies, is scummy and greedy and completely fucked over this beautiful movie. Come on. Talk about that some other time. You're right, Stamps. S sorry. I keep getting distracted, but what I'm trying to say is I don't want your shitty logo, I just want your shitty product. And just to clarify, it's not just Apple. I covered up my HP laptop's logo too. I just personally don't care about logos and brands. They mean absolutely nothing to me. And I straight up can't stand the people who do care about logos and shit. It's that hype beast bullshit like Supreme or Gucci. People are buying those products to say, look, I'm pathetic and care about brands. I want to make it clear that I lack anything that resembles a personality so I have to make up for that by spending $800 on a hoodie with a shitty logo on it. We get it, dude. It's very obvious. Not subtle at all. You're trying really hard to look cool right now with your $1,200 shoes and your fucking Alienware PC. I get it. You're rich, and I'm poor. You got me, dude. Or... Maybe. Just... Just maybe. I'm just not brain dead and spend my money wisely. Well, somewhat wisely. Fuck clothing brands. Go thrift shopping with a friend. It's like a treasure hunt, and when you find something, it's amazing. Plus, you pay way less. There are no downsides to thrift shopping. Besides the, the possibility of cum stains and fleas, but it's worth the risk because you're having a grand old time with friends. Oh, right. If you're a hype beast, you probably don't have those. It's weird how constantly flexing your wealth is your only personality trait, making others feel shitty around you, doesn't make people like you. At the end of the day, you can wear whatever you want, and spend however much money you want, and I can't stop you. However, I can let you know how much you suck and rub it in your face that I don't have to buy my friends. My friends love me for the broke bitch I am. When you choose to make a certain brand your thing, specifically because of its price tag, not because of its actual quality, and make it your goal to let everyone know that, Hey, uh, everything okay? Look, we need to talk. Sure. Uh, what's up? I'm gonna break up with you. What? Why? I met this guy a while back, and he's, like, perfect for me. Like, he has so many Supreme hoodies, like, more than I can count. And 
really fancy Air Jordan. 